Okay guys, so in this video we are going to talk a little bit about the Holy Grail layout. So let's get into it. So the Holy Grail layout was basically an idea that you had way back, way, way back in, in the day where every single web page you ever saw had the same components or rather you wanted to achieve a layout that was very standard. So you would have a header section like this, you would have a sidebar, a content area and another sidebar usually for ads and all that other good stuff and finally you would have a footer. So what I'm going to show you today is how you can achieve this layout because it was actually very tricky to achieve this layout back in the day. Today it's another story so let's have a look at some of the markup first and foremost. So here's our CSS file and these are our elements. So we have a main section, a nav bar, an aside, a div, another aside and a footer. So how are we achieving this? Well you can achieve it in multiple ways. You can do it old school with floats and that's pretty cool I suppose. You could also do it with Flexbox but if you wanted to do Flexbox we would have had to have at least a container for these three elements here. So what I'm going to show you is CSS Grid. Yay! Let's talk about CSS Grid. So first and foremost let's do a reset star and then we set margins and paddings to zero and box sizing to border box so we have all that standardized stuff out the window so that we can just work with the assumption that everything is going to be margin zero, padding zero, and that everything is going to have a nice consistent width and height. And then we have the main section where we say display grid and we set the height of the main section to 100% view height. And we do this because there's no content. Had we, If we had content it would been a, have been another story but we don't have any content so hey we need to set the height. And then we do this, the grid template areas. So basically what we will do here is that we will say that or if, if, you, if you look at this, this is actually the layout that we saw earlier in, expressed in a template. So let's, right, let's make this something like that. So here we have our little section. Let's look at the elements. Do, 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 do. Here we are. So basically the way it works is that I have declared that the nav section is a grid area of type nav bar. The aside is a left add bar. And then we have the main content grid area and then we have a right add bar and then we have a footer. And the way that it works is that the grid template areas allows me to now declare how I want this layout to work. So the way that you read this is that okay so on the first row of my CSS grid or my grid I want the first column to be filled up with a nav bar. I want the second column to be filled with nav bar and then I want the third column to be a nav bar because I have a three column layout which is this thing down here where I basically declare that the first column is going to be one fraction, the second one is going to be four fractions and then it's going to be one fraction. Easy peasy right? So this is row one and I hope this makes sense. Row two is going to be left ad bar, main content and right ad bar and then it's going to be a footer section. Easy peasy. And as you can see down here we've declared that the rows are going to go as follows. The nav bar row is going to be one fraction and then the content area and the right ad bar and like all the, the meaty stuff is going to be six fractions and then finally there's going to be one fraction for the footer. That's all there is to this. We have now achieved the holy grail layout without any excess HTML or anything like that. So I think this is very elegant if you ask me. And then finally I have some stylings just for the hover effect. The nav bar itself is just going to be... Yeah, yeah, these styles here are fairly basic. It's just a color and declaring the grid area. And that's all there is to making the holy grail layout. And it's as you can, I mean, you can make this much nicer than what I've done. But I just wanted to kind of illustrate the power that CSS grid holds. I mean, it's, if you think about it, it's pretty amazing that with all, with basically no excess styles, no excess, uh, this is like, it's just beautiful. I, I have to say it's absolutely beautiful and hopefully this will have given you a little bit of an insight to how you can achieve a fairly standard layout for a web page without much in terms of excess HTML or excess styling. You can simply use CSS Grid and I hope you have a great day.